Bingo, we're back. Think Tech on Wednesday. What is Wednesday? It's Energy Day, Hawaii, the state of clean energy. And, and in case you forgot, it's the most important thing happening in Hawaii. It's transforming and should and will transform our economy. And we really have to pay attention to it. That's why I think Tech likes to have this show. We've got a full house today. Let me go around the table here. We have Matt Lynch. He's a Systems Sustainability Coordinator for the University of Hawaii. Lots to talk about. Welcome to the show, Matt. Thanks for having me. And we have uh, Dennis uh, Saleh, and uh, he is uh, the Hawaii Council for Council 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 for Germany in Hawaii. Welcome to the show. We are honored by your honorific person. Thank you, Jay. We we have lots of questions to ask you about this program coming up. Okay, and to my left, Lily Ku, and that's with with that's one it. L, uh, two L. One L. It's, it's L I L Y, it's, and her email is cool. Yes, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. She's from uh, Hawaii Energy, and she's going to do the Negawatt moment starting right now. Good. Uh, well, I'm Lily Koo, and then uh, actually I brought in some highlights uh, for the event that um, uh, L actually um, Illuminating Engineering Society, the IES, hosted a lighting control workshop and actually co hosted by Hawaii Energy. And I just want you to take a look at it and see okay. some highlights. So we have a short movie from Hawaii Energy, and let's take a look at it now. So. energy efficiency, it's good as an electrician to see what kind of product I can advise, or I can say, help us save energy. You know, as far as occupancy, people waste energy all the time. These type of products can help us solve that problem without even having to think about it. Many businesses and contractors, contractors have participated in our program. And it, as a result of this, just last year alone, uh, the Electricity Safe were able to power 4,000 homes on here on the Wahoo for a year. Controls, you know, provide another level, another layer of energy savings on, on top of your whatever controls that you're in. That's going to be our next wave of, uh, all, you know, ways to save energy is, is in a control. Okay, we're back, we're live. That was Lily Koo. Oh, great movie. Okay, so tell us what that all means, what we should take away from that, Lily. Yes, um, that one is actually about lighting controls. And uh, as you know that nowadays, buildings, the business buildings, uh, the energy usage for, for lighting is approximately between 20 and 40 percent. So more so, you know, if you want to do energy smart, you have to focus on lighting plus some kind of controls. And the good thing is, uh, nowadays, you know, controls have wireless and the technology is so advanced that you can actually do a lot of different types of pretty stuff and with affordable type of projects. So that's why we want to bring in this uh, lighting, you know, uh, lighting controls workshop to, the, uh, to all these professional lighting professionals and also facilities managers to be able to understand what's happening in the real world. Another thing is, um, there's a code, IECC, IECC code 2015 is going to be in place for uh, lighting controls. Probably part of by the, the building codes yes, here. Two thousand Howard Wig. Exactly. D bed, yeah. Two thousand seventeen, two thousand eighteen. And we want to be able to introduce to, you know, the this group of facility people to let them know that hey, you gotta get ahead and um, you know, be on top of the game basically. Okay. You were speaking. What were you speaking about? Oh, I was just uh, basically telling uh, what Hawaii Energy is doing and how we can benefit and also the, a lot of these lighting controls we're able to give out different types of energy efficiency rebates and we want to help off offset the cost of the project cost. Yes. So <clears throat> the technology has changed, right? Yes. What excites you about it now? It's uh, ever-changing and it's, become, it's becoming so smart. It, for example, uh, they have this in integrated control. Uh, nowadays you can put it in in, the, in an office space 
And inside an office space, you know, there's sometimes it's uh, rainy and sometimes it's sunny. It gets really hot, especially I w I'm sitting by the window. And when you have this type of controls, it's self-diagnostic and it's able to tell, hey, it's, it's rainy outside and you don't have to have, you have to have more light or it's sunny outside, you know, it just uh, adjust the office condition. So it makes its condition. decision on what it learns about the Exactly. Why do you sound like an engineer to me? <laughs> you are an engineer, aren't you? I'm actually, I'm one of those oddballs. I'm not an engineer, but I work with all the engineers, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I work with a lot of facility it's managers. It's rubbing off, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lily Koo of Hawaii Energy on the Negawatt Moment. Thank you so much, Thank Lily. Thank you. We're going to take a short break, and we're going to meet our friend of the, uh, in the West Coast, uh, who is the uh, German-American Chamber of Commerce. Uh, that's Rene van der Hovel. And we're going to all get together, and we're going to have a discussion about this big program coming up next Wednesday. For now, a short break. Thank you, Lily. Thank you so much. <laughs> Looking to energize your Friday afternoon? Tune in to Stand the Energy Man at 12 noon. Aloha Friday here on Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha. I'm State Senator Russell Ruderman. I represent the Puna and Ka'u District on the Big Island and the host of Ruderman Roundtable. We're here on Think Tech Hawaii every other Tuesday at 2 p.m. You can join us at thinktechhawaii.com. You can find a link there to, uh, to a page where you can see past episodes. And we talk here about good government, environmental issues, and issues of the day facing the state of Hawaii. I'm Russell Ruderman. Please join us for the Ruderman Roundtable. Mahalo. Aloha, I'm Chantal Seville, the host of the Savvy Chick Show, which you can watch every Wednesday at 11 a.m. on thinktechhawaii.com. On the Savvy Chick Show, we are all about inspiring and empowering women and girls to be the best they can be by having amazing guests from all around the world. So we hope you'll join us every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Aloha! Aloha! This is Rez McJackal. The University of Hawaii football team under Rolovich is going to get wet this season. In case you didn't understand me, University of Hawaii football team is going to kick butt under Rolovich this season. So be sure to follow us on Think Tech Hawaii and Hibachi Top. I'll be at every game. And remember, aloha! One, we're back. We're live. 414 rock, so to speak. <laughs> okay, and there's going to be a short exam. First, who's that? That's Matt Lynch. <laughs> right there. <laughs> and check him, that's Dennis Sale. And by, uh, by Skype, we have from California, San Francisco, we have... Uh, Rene van der Hovel, and he is the German-American Chamber of Commerce, and he joins us by Skype. Uh, welcome to the show, Rene. Thanks for having me. So let's do this in two parts real quick. In the system of UH, you're doing zero, what is it, zero energy. We've this uh, is very ambitious. It is. It's, it's actually a mandate um, that was uh, passed to us in 2015 by the state legislature. Um, that the university shall produce as much renewable energy as it consumes by 2035. You're the one. I'm <laughs> You're the man. I'm a part of the team <laughs> okay. that we're assembling to do this. So actually, um, the first net zero annual report was um, delivered to the legislature what did it say? last year. Uh, it says that this is how much we produced and this is how much we consumed, um, and these are the ongoing efforts. Uh, and so that is you every year. Um, since uh, we've been able to establish a dedicated office of energy management, so you'd probably really in be really interested to speak with Miles Topping, um, who's basically a rocket engineer that uh, really, yeah, with experience. Um, is that your way of saying this is difficult? It's rocket science. He's <laughs> way smarter than I am, okay. so yeah, I'm really glad. Can to you have put him me in touch? touch? Yeah, absolutely. All yeah, right, yeah. we'll do a show with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miles um, worked at BA Systems, worked at Boeing, is a UH alumni. Um, sort of the best and brightest. We talk about the brain drain. This is a reverse. reverse good good to have home. that. Yeah, Refreshing. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, so Miles um, is the director of energy management. We are, will be building out a team around him so that there is a dedicated and focused team. Um, and it's that unit that's essentially uh, doing the heavy lifting to achieve the net zero goal. So how do you do it? How do you reach net net zero? How do you do that? Yeah. I know one one 
kilowatt at a time. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great answer. How do you do that? Yeah, so um, Miles has sort of outlined um, four overarching sort of strategic initiatives. First and foremost, you know, it's enormously difficult to manage what you're not measuring. So we need to get a control of our data. In fact, this, right at this moment, Miles is very likely um, programming meters or pulling wires even. I thought um, he was watching you talking about I it. I certainly hope not. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, getting control of our data, um, and that's a, a significant project that is currently underway. Um, secondly, um, the best return on your investment is obviously with energy efficiency investment. So something that's on our desk uh, that we are preparing to release, um, hopefully by the end of this month, if we hit all of our targets, is an energy savings performance contract um, estimated to be in the range of about 100 to 200 million dollars. Over time? Uh, well, it's a 20-year contract, um, but the, as you know, how the way that, you know, the DOT did one of the, the largest ones in the nation. Yeah. Um, the University of Hawaii Community Colleges did one about 30 million dollars worth of uh, construction a few years back. Um, and the construction period on that was essentially over two years. Um, so, you know, there's quite some time once the RFP hits the street, people have to re respond, we walk the campus, um, the technical energy assessments that are done, um, and it'll take a, a, you know, a better part of a year or so to get through that process before we're actually turning dirt. So um, we're hoping, we're anticipating in 2018 that we'll be able to actually start implementing these energy conservation measures across the campus at Manoa. Um, so that's the second sort of strategic um, initiative or focus. The third, obviously, is the second part of our um, uh, uh, mandate, um, which is the renewable generation portion of it. Um, and so we have a number of um, renewable projects that have gone on. And uh, as you know, HNEI is, is a major player in this space as well. So um, it's part of the university, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, they are really at the leading edge of the research in this area. So. We've also been, um, have a couple of exciting pilot projects underway with some energy accelerator companies that are a great part of the ecosystem. And um, we're really looking for innovative solutions, you know, to help uh, really get this. So you're calling, you're calling for people to come and help you. You're reaching out to all of your scientific capability there in the campus. Yeah, look, none of us is smart as all of us. So we're gonna, it's all hands on deck. We need all the help we can yeah, get. Yeah. And so, so that's really our third initiative is like focusing on the renewable generation aspect of it, but you'll notice the sequencing of that, right? They're, they're sort of happening concurrently, sure. but you know, as far as bang for a buck, yeah. um, you know, energy efficiency measures is, yeah. is really going to start to generate the economic engine that can drive it long term. Right. And then fourth, um, which is not last, last but certainly not least, is the sort of uh, end user behavior engagement, right? It's enormously difficult to go in and ask somebody, hey, could you make sure you turn off the lights or, you know, uh, turn up the AC or whatnot. Um, when you know they're sitting under T8 old technologies, or where they're bringing space heaters in so that their their thermal comfort is maintained. <laughs> so as we start to shift the physical experience of the campus over the next couple of years, um, then all of a sudden you're creating the conditions for culture to transform. Social engineering. Well, sure. <laughs> that sounds enormously uh, <laughs> ambitious, Jay. But yeah, yeah. Uh, working to you know create conditions for um, behavior change to occur so that's great yeah. and you know it, it's appropriate and in, in fact it's more than that it's a leadership point because what you do is a you know a huge big system but what a cohesive system um, is it will inspire the rest of the state to do the same um, so if you can do this you know you'll be demonstrating something that everybody will be impressed and uh, uh, you know inspired by well, may, that may be the case. I mean, first and foremost, we have an operational need, and we have a responsibility to our that students too, yeah. to bear the, the burden of the utility costs. So this is a really uh, high priority for us, um, and we're really uh, very, very focused on it. So along those lines, in seeking innovative solutions to this, we jumped at the chance to partner up with the German Chamber of Commerce. I um, thought you'd never get to that. <laughs> to try to bring in, <laughs> see what I did there? Uh, to nice. Try to <laughs> segue, everybody. <laughs> Automatic segue. <laughs> so, um, you know, the, I mean, the, the running joke sort of around the table, right? Is you, you, you want to fix, you want the best in the brace, so you get a German engineer to the table, so. <laughs> I always say that. It's true, isn't it? <laughs> it's it's true. denials here, yeah. No. Very clever, very clever, the Germans, very clever people. So um, we, we're beyond thrilled to uh, have this opportunity to host 
and to, uh, you know, for very selfish reasons, um, I'm excited about this, but I'm also excited about the broader impact because UH has this extraordinary ambitious mandate that we're tasked to meet. Um, and so we want to be able to connect with the leading edge of clean tech. So why not start here? And hey, let's learn together. So we'll throw open the doors and invite the community to come in um, and kick the tires. That's a great idea. And great happens. idea, not only for the you know, university. I told you before, I mean, it has an obligation in my view, and I think in the policymakers' view, to pay back the community. And remember Tom Apple? Tom Apple always said that. He said the university, he wants to see, and I think a lot of people want to see, including David Lasner, want to see the university, you know, provide value to the, the community in general. And the program you guys are setting up is exactly right along those lines. Because we're really interested in Germany, because Germany <laughs> has been at the point of discussion about energy since the beginning right. of our energy initiative. And you guys are doing such creative things. We need to learn from you. We need to know what you're doing. We need to talk to your companies and see, you know, of course, you'll be interested in some of the things we do, but I think we'll be very interested in some of the things Germany is doing. So tell us about the program, Des. So um, thanks for saying that, by the way, about the Germans. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, the program is, is actually um, a uh, symposium or a conference that we're holding on Wednesday the 9th. Next week. Next week. Um, and we have invited eight uh, companies from Germany to join us in this. So they're sending their executives or uh, people that, that have expertise in the field uh, to showcase what they do in Germany right now. Um, so the idea was, uh, for one, to give these guys an uh, opportunity to meet up with Hawaii Energy uh, stakeholders um, and, and see if there's synergy, potential synergy. I'm sure there's um, sure. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure there is. Uh, you know uh, a little bit about the German uh, energy transformation, which uh, really kicked off decades ago, if you will. And, 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 and Germany had greater challenges than Hawaii. Of course. I mean, it was harder. Of course. Had, I mean, dig deep to do for it. For one, we're a manufacturing country. Yeah. So we have humongous uh, energy demand. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, there's been a, a long uh, wave of the attempt to transform Germany. Uh, it really only got a lot of traction when um, uh, the Chancellor, Merkel, decided after Fukushima to cut off nuclear power. She's, that was in she's 2008. She's my hero, by the way. Yeah, you know. she's, she's In fact, amazing. I'd like to see her run for president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know that's gonna, if that's going to happen. I don't think she was born here. We're going to have that birth certificate discussion real quick. <laughs> so um, uh, what, what we did is we, um, we, we tried to get a government grant to allow these companies to travel here and to get some funding in place to help um, build a bridge. Uh, transatlantic, transpacific bridge, if you will, um, that will hopefully bear some fruit and and cr create some connections. Fabulous. Okay, so when and where? Let's get the when. Again, and where. we're um, we're bringing the companies in uh, on on Sunday, the Sunday before Wednesday Sunday, the night. So yeah. they'll they'll arrive here on the sixth or seventh, and they'll stay for the whole week. So they're open for meetings with uh, people who are interested. Um, and then the conference itself is a one day event. It's a free event and it'll happen in the uh, Cancer Center, Sullivan Conference Center, um, from 8.30 that to big, 4. That big room on the ground it's floor. It's a beautiful it conference really center. Beautiful. We took a long time to find it. And, and, and there's some fabulous <laughs> programs in there, so you follow on a good legacy. Yes, and um, uh, we're hoping to do some energy consulting on that building right away, because uh, <laughs> although it does look very modern, it apparently wasn't designed with energy in mind. Careful, careful, I careful. careful. You know, so well, <laughs> I was told. Now oh. that we're here, we've got some suggestions for you. Well, we welcome them. Yes. Actually, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yes. It's going to be a lot of fun. So does Martin Despang <laughs> know about this program? Yes, he's, he's actually one part of our hosts, and he's German. He is part of it. Yeah. He will be uh, holding a speech or a talk, okay. and uh, he was very excited. Yeah, I know, and with him, that really means something, because he doesn't usually get excited about it. <laughs> okay, and listen, uh, I don't want you to feel that we're not taking attention to you, Renee, but uh, when we come back from this break, we're going to get into you big time, so be prepared. But, but for now, we're going to take a short break. Hello, this is Martin Despang. I want to get you excited about my new show, which is called Humane Architecture for Hawaii and Beyond. And it's going to be on ThinkTech Hawaii from downtown Honolulu on Tuesday afternoons, 5 p.m. And we're going to talk about uh, to make architecture more inclusive on the islands, which is, what hu which is one of the definitions of humane 
which is being tolerant of uh, you know, many people, of nature, of many other influences. So we're going to have some great guests, like today's guest, for example, uh, my collaborator, David Rockwood, who is the author of the awesome um, manifestation of uh, humane architecture in the background. So see you on Tuesdays, 5 p.m. I look forward to... Bingo, we're back. Now that smiling face you just saw, that is Martin Disbang. Our, and he runs uh, Humane Architecture, which is really a wonderful show every Tuesday at 4 o'clock. Make that 5 o'clock. Okay, so, uh, uh, and P.S., by the way, before the 9th, no, on the 9th, at the end of the day, we're going to have Dr. Rettberg, who is from Germany, part of the visiting delegation, yes. here on Think Tech, Hawaii State of Clean Energy. Thank you to Sharon Moriwaki for having set that up. You are with us always, Sharon. Uh, okay, now let's, <laughs> let's get to uh, Rene van der Hovel, uh, who is with the German-American Chamber of Commerce in San Francisco. So you're responsible for bringing all these eight constituents from Germany, and you're going to be nice to them, right? I, I hope so. Um, we, uh, we already set up a lot of meetings uh, with them, so there's a lot of interest on the island for these companies. And uh, we have also uh, a lot of people sign up for the conference. And I just want to mention, uh, if people still want to come that are listening, go to our website, it's the gaccwest.com, and you can sign up on, uh, for, the, for the free conference and, yeah, meet the German companies and our expert speakers. GACCOS.com. Yeah. That's correct. So there we will be able to see the. What, what kind of companies uh, are there? Can you give us a precy? Yeah, sure. Um, so it's a very diverse um, a mix of companies. Um, and one of the biggest problems um, that exists right now is for sure when you um, create a lot of renewable energies, you need storage solutions uh, for, for that energy. So we have uh, two very yeah, prestige uh, German companies, uh, Sonnen and Mercedes-Benz, and they all offer um, storage solutions, battery solutions uh, for uh, commercial and private houses. So they will uh, show their product and talk a little bit about what, what their vision is for the future. But we also have other companies that uh, do fuel sales, for example, for emergency cases. We have, uh, you, uh, we have a company that is, um, very, has a very innovative uh, product for utilities when you, need, uh, very, um, when you need energy on a very short term. So it's a good mix. Um, on the other hand, we have companies that are actually doing energy efficiency. They consult uh, companies and, uh, for example, universities in their effort uh, to, to get better. So we bring them over. So I think we have quite a diverse mix of companies. And uh, yeah, so we're looking forward for next week. Okay, well, now I understand, Matt, why you're doing this. You, you want to merge these two initiatives together, the German visit and the um, net zero. It's all, it's all combined, isn't it? Uh, like, like I said earlier, I mean, we're, th these are pretty big and hairy challenges that we need to solve, and so we're looking for, we're going to need a, some significant innovation, so we're looking for solutions where we can find them. Yeah, so I have a question for Renee. Renee, um, were you part of the group that uh, selected these eight companies? Who selected them? Oh, uh, or was it Dennis? Yeah. So this program, um, as Dennis mentioned, is a part of the uh, government agency. So um, the German government actually selected them. So we work with a partner in Germany um, that, uh, that choose these eight companies um, for the conference. So um, the German government is not only doing it for Hawaii. Um, I have to mention that we, the German government is doing that around the world. So uh, there's similar pro programs um, in other cities in the world. And so, um, yeah, I think Germany is very professional in finding these companies for, their, for the markets that are most interesting for them. Okay, why, why do you know, just between us, no, nobody's, <laughs> <laughs> just between us, why, why are they coming? What is it a long trip, you know, how many, what is it, 10,000 miles or something? Uh, why are they coming here? What's in it, what's in it for them? So, um, for sure, the German government wants to support, like what we call the German Mittelstand, like German small and, small and middle-sized companies, and that's most of them. And as you maybe also heard, we are like an export nation. So, um, and the German government and the companies feel that they have very um, innovative products because you know we started uh, that endeavor like you know 15, 20 years ago. So um, they have a lot of use cases and a lot of um, solutions for problems, and we just want to share them. And for sure, they're looking for partners in Hawaii that maybe they can work together with. Um, oh, maybe even at this table, not pointing. <laughs> Okay, so now my question is this, you know, 
we have always, we, well, for 20 years, they would be aware that Germany is very advanced in clean energy and spends a lot of time, attention, and you know, scientific talent developing systems and solutions in clean energy. But when they come here, these eight companies, what should we be looking at? Where are the strongest advances? Uh, what, what's the most advanced technology that we should look for? Uh, and what area of the activities covered by these eight companies? So, you know, I, I personally find the energy storage um, solutions very innovative, um, for sure. Um, there are some companies, and, and you know, the, the, the advantage for them is they have already use cases in Germany. So it's not like a complete new idea. Um, most of their product they will present or services they will present uh, are already on the market in Germany for a long time or in Europe. Um, so um, I think you can, you can really look for, for innovative products that come and uh, that are also um, reliable. Uh, for end users, for example, or for businesses. Okay, and what's in it for them in terms of learning from us? Do they have any expectations that we will teach them things that they can use in their various enterprises? You know, I, I think the, the companies, for sure, they have more like a business interest, but uh, we bring also three experts from Germany, and for, for sure, um, for example, uh, Dr. Uh, Rettig, who will speak on your program uh, next week, and he's from the University of Dortmund, for example and he is looking into smart grid solutions. So for sure Hawaii could be a very good case for him to, um, to compare the two markets a little bit and maybe you know you have other findings, other problems that he can um, include in his research. So I think the experts are you know, more like the link to the both, uh, both sides. Uh, for sure the company is looking for business opportunities. You know, that's their job. That's great, Renee. I'm, and you're coming. You're going to be here, right? I'm coming. Flight is booked. And I, I see I have to buy my Hawaii shirt uh, quite quickly. Okay, well, we're, we're, gonna, we're going to be, uh, we're gonna be filming uh, the, the program uh, during that day on the 9th. So uh, we'll, we'll find you, we'll look for you, and we'll meet you in, in the flesh. But my question is, you know, you probably expect some pretty nice creature comforts for you and your eight uh, constituent companies. And I wonder you know, what you expect Dennis will provide for you, or what you expect Matt will provide for you. Is it going to be really nice? What's it going to be? You know, I hope they provide us with a Mai Tai. That's like <laughs> uh, when, I, when I arrive. Uh, so, if we can arrange that. You know, I, you know, I, I have to thank both of them, because for sure for us in San Francisco, it's a huge challenge to organize a trip like that. And then Matthew, um, especially, you know, he, he organized the, the location for us and hosted us and introduced us to a lot of people. And Dennis, so to speak, our man, man uh, in Honolulu, helped us also with his connection. So it wouldn't be possible without them. Um, but uh, so they did it quite a lot. And uh, I heard that you don't have a Trader Joe's in uh, Honolulu. So we have to go shopping uh, on Friday and bring some nuts and some other stuff. With them. Renee van der Hovel, he's ready for this trip. And Dennis, you're going to take care of him. I'll take you? care of him. <laughs> and Matt, you're going to take care of both Dennis and Renee, aren't we'll be, you? We'll be taking care of everybody that day. Wonderful. <laughs> it all comes together next week. I know you'll have a great event. Thank you so much for joining us today on Hawaii, the state of clean energy. Thank you. Ray. Thanks so much. Thank you. So Thank much. you. Uh -huh.